What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to you with a brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 63 in a row. And the reason why I just went like this and looked under was to make sure my mic was on. There's a lot of places I could have looked other than that, that would have been less awkward. But let's get right into today's episode. And once again, did I miss did I miss an ups upload yesterday? Yes. Um, but we can talk about that in a second. We're going to get into the game and I'm immediately immediately going to give you guys the seed. Oh, because we got Eden's blessing last time. And so that means we get to start with one more bad item. So the seed is J0LZ6JDW. And we also start off with Crystal Ball, which gives us full mapping, which is really cool. And a little bit unfortunate that we have this uh, this library over here. And you guys might be excited to know that I'm recording this right now at 2 p.m. Oh, that's right. It's not in the a.m. right now. Um, the reason I didn't record yesterday... I mean, I was just kind of, it was just kind of one, it was another one of those days. I was kind of just thinking, this 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 week was going to be my reset week. I'm going to make sure that, I, I needed to have a nice little reset week because I've pretty much been uploading daily for a long time. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying, I was lazy yesterday. I wanted to play some games, you know, Hot Wheels Unleashed just got released. Okay, and we're going to take Almond Milk. Almond Milk is really bad, but we have to take it because that's fun. But yeah, uh... The new Hot Wheels game just came out, and I am a connoisseur of Hot Wheels games. And so I was playing that a little bit. I was playing some more New World, you know. Uh, I think I'm probably going to stream that uh, tomorrow. I said I wasn't going to stream tomorrow, and I said I was probably going to stream Thursday and Friday. And you guys probably saw that Thursday and Friday didn't happen. Um, that's because some some plans changed around. I was supposed to go out to dinner with my, my family, but then my brother uh, had plans. So my parents were like, do you still want to go? I'm like, nope, I'm out. Just kidding. I wasn't. I wasn't that brutal. I was just kind of like, eh. I'm gonna stay home. You know, I want to stream. That way, I can stream. It's probably gonna be a slightly later stream. Um, probably at one or two. Kind of not late. Not later than I usually stream, but later than I'm supposed to stream. <laughs> There's a little bit of a difference. And I really would like to get BFF and get into the secret room if possible. So, what were you? You're the chariot card. We can use the chariot card to at least get into. Actually, I want to see what we can get in this library first before I use my chariot card. Okay, so Lamegathon is really fun, but I feel like our mapping is more important. We also get a soul heart whenever we have the crystal ball. So, um, none of these help me out too much. I'm going to touch all three, and I'll come back at the end of the floor and come use all three. Uh, come use the the two books because I don't want to have a devil deal at, uh, during this boss fight and I don't want to have a harbinger so if you guys didn't know if you use book of revelations the purple book and yes it is purple uh you can see in the repentance trailer that it is a purple book not some weird pastel color so purple it's purple book anyways the purple book book of revelations gives you a soul heart on charge but whenever you use it on a floor it makes makes so you have a higher chance to fight a harbinger at the end of the floor so, it's a little bit of a, uh, a, a give and take. It's kind of not the best, kind of okay. So, it's not the best. And if you do Satanic Bible, the pentagram black book, uh, what it does is it will give you... Drum roll, please. Just sorry, my brain just had a brain fart for a second. It gives you a black heart. Make it so the uh, boss, boss reward is actually going to be a devil deal for the floor. And because I don't know how much health I have... I didn't want to use that because I didn't want to be at like one heart of soul heart health. You know what? I can at least use this. Pop a fly. Nice. And you guys are probably like, oh, you should have taken Lamegaton. You should have taken something else. No. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like having mapping is going to be a lot nicer for this run, especially if this run goes south. Uh, I guess I could also reason that taking something that would give me any any form of health regen would be really good as well. But we don't need to talk about that. Okay, we don't have any bombs, so I might as well buy the Ace of Diamonds. Nice. And we can head on out. It's kind of unfortunate that we don't have a bomb, but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Just making sure there's no rooms anywhere, or no uh, tinted rocks. You guys might be like, wow, he is he's already brain dead. No, I'm not brain dead, guys. Somebody was like, I love watching brain dead priests, and I hope that was a good thing. I, I, I hope that was him not being, like, super mean and being like, 
calling me brain dead and just being sarcastic. I hope he was being nice, but I, I read it as a nice comment. So if you commented that, thank you for commenting. I was like, oh man, he likes it. He likes the video. <laughs> That I was thinking about, I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> if somebody calls you brain dead, it, that, it's that that can that's mostly used in a negative way. But I call myself brain dead sometimes, so it could be positive. Uh, we do not want Stompy because Stompy bad. But instead, we want to have fruitcake is one of the best items to have with soy milk or with uh, soy milk or almond milk because you fire so many tears that you are just going to be firing a, a, a flurry of the most aggressive tears in the world. So it is very good. Very nice. We still don't have any bombs. I'm just going to fight the boss. Because who needs mapping? We don't. Okay, good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Yeah, don't let him go back in the hole. Don't let him go back in the hole. Okay, that's close. Okay. Oh man, and some people were commenting on the last video uh, saying they prefer when I focus on the game. You know what? I also prefer when I focus on the game. It's it's easier to focus on the game and have things to talk about than it is to just talk about random stuff. But if I ever have stuff I want to talk about, I'll probably talk about that instead of focusing on the game. If I have nothing specific to talk about, you know, I'm probably probably just gonna to hold off on, on trying to co commentate too much on just randomness so I know most people are gonna be like heck yeah go you and thank you thank you for the support <laughs> I, mean, I, I really I do really appreciate all the support uh, I was looking at the discord uh, yesterday because you know I haven't been on there for a second because you know I'm not I don't know the discord's not not something I I think too much about it's not like in the forefront of my mind and lots of people just are on there saying in the general chat like dead chat and that and you know what sucks about that is if somebody comes into the server uh like namila yt on youtube came into the server and somebody was just like yeah it's a dead server and the person and the middle of youtube was like oh oh and that just that just makes it so nobody wants to stay there and lots of people are leaving and i mean the same amount of people are joining that are leaving and I do want to be, like, I kind of do want to refresh the entire thing uh, to revamp it. If you guys didn't know, like, you guys might see inside of one of the general chats, uh, Atron Random. He's, uh, he was one of the people who, when I first created, uh, like, first started streaming at, like, a thousand subscribers and first started doing stuff, uh, he gifted me a Nitro subscription. So I'm like, hey, you want to help me set up this server? Because... I was like, yeah, you want to be a mod? You want to help me set up the server? So he's like, yeah. Also, Pact is awesome. Let's go. And my idea right there was I like devil deals. I, I really just want to go for devil deals. Devil deals are fun. Now let's full clear just to see if we can maybe just perhaps get a bomb ever. Because <laughs> that would be so nice. I could go into the shop. I do realize that. Okay, nice. And I could just fire at this wall until something opens it. That also works. Okay, let's go to the shop. Wow, this is actually pretty reliable. I'm actually surprised with how how often this is working. Uh, but yeah, Atron, uh, Atron helped me set up the the server. I mean, I had I have no I had no clue how to set up a server. I had no clue how to do any of it. And so Atron kind of helped with everything. He had everything set up, and he's the one who set up Matronics and all of that. And I just didn't really know what was happening. So I was like, hey, yeah, go go you. And so he was very, he's, he's always been really helpful. He's a really cool guy, but there was a, there was a day that I was having a real rough day. And I said that I was going to uh, take a break, take a break from streaming. I think I forgot what I said exactly in the announcements. And then pretty much immediately he responded, thank God. And I said something like, I've not, I've not been feeling the best. And the way he said it, he said was was him saying that it was him saying in a way that was like oh thank, thank goodness you're actually caring about your health and doing that but I don't I don't think I didn't think that was the case and so I immediately as soon as he said that I immediately deleted that thing off the announcements and then removed him from the the moderators and he's been commenting in the general chat like he's the one who made the server he he helped me he helped me set up the server 
I'm the one who made the server. I, I am the I am the one who made it. I'm the only person who has ownership of the server. It's not like I stole something from him and like pirated it from him. No. Um. And if Atron, if you're watching this, I still love you, man. But you were a little bit of a wild card, and so I don't know. It was just. He would say some stuff that wasn't exactly things that I would I would say, but I was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, just he was just kind of integrating some bots, like the mom and dad bot. I was like, it's fine, but they're kind of annoying, and just there's just a bunch of stuff that I was just like, I don't I don't know if I really want this on on here. And that that day I was just kind of like, yeah, I don't I don't like this. I don't like what the the way that he, the fact that he said that. Um, but yeah, that's that. And also, if you guys saw, I just took Constellation Prize. Constellation Prize uh, is an item that increases your lowest stat, but I think it's by one. I think I think it's pretty much always by one. Okay, this was this was reliable last time. Okay, thank you. So so yeah, I, I do want to. Uh, I'm probably gonna. I was gonna delete the Discord. Uh, I was planning on doing that yesterday, because I don't know. I, I just I wanted to either start fresh at some point in the future where I had m more like I just had I at a, a time where I wanted to work on the server some more, but it kind of just didn't work out that way. I mean, uh, not it didn't work out that way. It, I just decided not to because it was it was kind of weird because there are a lot of people who are on the Discord. The people who are on the Discord, a lot of them are people who still want to be on the Discord and maybe use the discord for notifications and so I might delete a bunch of the channels and only have it as a notification thing for right now I don't know I feel like that's kind of annoying to do that I understand that stuff like that can be uh can be annoying and so I, I don't, I don't want to be annoying I don't want to make a have a discord server that people aren't gonna enjoy and so I, I do want to try to get uh, just get more integrated with the server at some point and actually make it a good community at some at some point in time but I don't know it's just there needs to be more moderation and actual moderation that I'm not trying to I'm not hard, like roasting any of the moderators right now because if I'm not actively like streaming a bunch and doing YouTube a bunch and really doing it that much it's really weird for the moderators to actually moderate and so I know that they they like Mateo and all of them are very active in the discord so I, I know that they're they're still there moderating. If there anything goes down, they are there to uh, try to counteract it. But I don't know. I, I'm just not. I've never been somebody who's big into group chats or big into anything like that. And oh my gosh, our luck is insane. And if I use the full card right now, I think we die. So let's not do that. Okay, I want to see if we can buy this and re-roll it. That'd be sick nice okay so we got this we re-roll i will take stem cells that way i can just use this real quick and not die and get all my health back <laughs> i just want to make sure that i don't have that in my inventory uh and you know what gemini we'll take gemini i know that i could have gotten something better with that but i am looking forward to using d6 in better rooms other than whatever I don't even know what item pool that was I feel like the items that were being re-rolled were just in the general gold chest item pool or maybe the arcade item pool I don't know what item pool that would be I did not realize there's a mushroom immediately as I entered the room dang yeah if you guys I I don't know what to do with the discord server I'm still trying to decide I don't know how to change it up I like I, I want to kind of just start fresh but I don't exactly know how to do that um pretty much any time that I've ever been on a discord server it's never been like a big populated server and if it has been a big populated server it's not been my big populated server so I, I know that there's I, I don't one of the big things I just don't know how to do is how to find people who want to moderate just you know people who just want to moderate all the time for free uh, because I don't know why so people thought that whenever I, I got them to be my mods that I was gonna pay them I was like no I was asking for volunteers just because if you're already in the in the stream it'd be sick if you could you know moderate people who are annoying because that betters everybody's time it makes everybody have a better time and I don't know, some people joined uh, not really seeming like they wanted to exactly do that they kind of just wanted the title of mod 
and I'm talking about space space is watching this <laughs> you're space is space is a cool 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 kiddo I think he's like 17 so I can get to call him kiddo but he he was not somebody who was actually trying to moderate for me he's also a bd1p's moderator now and so he betrayed me just kidding he's I think he's always been one of bd1p's moderators okay I don't exactly know what's happening to you but you're trying your best Carrion Queen is a really weird boss I feel like Carrion Queen is not the hardest but it is just wacky and Dark Prince's crown would be pretty neat to take but I don't think that's reliable enough and Mob of the Void's not cool enough and this right here is perfect we'll take this and we'll also take Guppy's hairball that way we do have uh, one of the Guppy items we can definitely try to go for Guppy this this run. Yeah, we. Ooh, wait. Is there any way I could get a battery? I forgot that there that the item room was an active item. Okay, actually check that. I'm glad I checked that. And real quick, let's see if we can uh, you know, just get a quick magic mush. While I take a j sip of my Pewds flavor G Fuel. Guys, I swear the day that G Fuel sponsors me is gonna be the best day of my life. I drink G Fuel every day, and it's my gamer supplement that I love and, and take. My gamer supplement. No, it's just I, I just I like it better than soda because it has no caffeine. Uh, no, it, no, it has it has caffeine. It, it it's, has no sugar. It it has fake chemicals that will give me diabetes. And I I still hate how can stupid conjoined is stupid Gemini is called conjoined, but he doesn't count towards conjoined. I feel like this was a serious oversight. <laughs> and you guys are probably free, like, why Why are you just passing up all of the uh, the trinkets on the ground? You don't have a trinket yet. I know, guys. <laughs> um, let's go back in the devil deal. <laughs> and we can go to the next floor. But we could get unlimited devil, not unlimited devil deals. And I, I probably should have brought both the soul heart from the shop. Listen, guys, we all make mistakes. Everyone has those days. Thanks, Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana was revolutionary. Let's all let's all be honest. She was kind of what made made us the people we are today. If you guys didn't watch, I mean, if you guys are too young, where you guys didn't grow up with the Hannah Montana show, the Hannah Montana show was the bomb. Okay, wait, what the heck? Oh, my controller just died. Oh my gosh! I just completely knocked over a trash can. I don't know why I don't just keep the controller plugged in. I do just have a uh, the charger sitting at my feet at all times. That was a very unfortunate hit of damage right there. But we'll be fine. I oh thank you for the black heart. I don't know exactly. I feel like just a random tear effect gave that to us, but I'm very grateful. We can skip some rooms. If we get to a room that has a bunch of tiny enemies, I will definitely use the ace of diamonds but we don't need to use the ace of diamonds anytime soon there's not really a reason to i don't know where these black arts are coming from but i am i'm i am lo loving it okay we need to go through this room no matter what what the heck was that a suicide king tier okay i think this is a good room to use ace of diamonds in but i have to use it carefully you know this is actually a horrible room to use ace of diamonds in Okay, we'll actually, uh, we'll use it a different... The reason why this is a bad room to use Ace of Diamonds is because whenever you use it, the coins drop wherever the enemy is. And so if they would just drop in those gaps, I would never be able to get them. So they're just a little risky. As cool as Anima Sola is, we will take Ghost Pepper, and we are going to... This is a good run. Almond Milk plus Ghost Pepper is a combo made in heaven. Pretty much any luck-based tier effect with Soy Milk or any high tier rate build is insanely good due to the fact that since you're shooting so many tiers you're more likely to shoot out one of the luck based tiers because i mean that's just that's just how you know that that works if i'm shooting 20 tiers a second or 18 tiers a second and i have a 12 percent or a 20 percent chance of shooting a ghost pepper tier most likely i'm gonna be shooting a ghost pepper tier and that's unfortunate okay also my phone's getting blown up oh not blown up one thing I don't like about Snapchat is that when somebody types, it gives you a notification, or it gives you a vibration, a vibration like a tone. And whenever, whenever somebody uh, 
What am I trying to say? We did somebody. I got this. I got this. I can use my head for this. Somebody's typing. It gives you the typing notification and it gives you the sent message notification. I feel like it should give you one or the other. You know? Don't give me both. I feel like that's a little overkill. And this is a really good having this key right here. We can reroll the devil deal a couple times and make sure that we only take something that will make us not die. Interesting. Now, I wanted that to be a health upgrade, but that's cool too. So we will go back into that room and probably reroll Crooked Penny, but our what we really want to reroll first is going to be the Devil Deal. We want to make sure that whatever we get from the Devil Deal can be really good. Nice. And this doesn't give us conjoined. How do I always get this, this luck of not getting conjoined? And you know what? Who needs conjoined? Not us. And thank you for this heart. Okay. So, we remain we kept one of our conjoined boys. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we re-roll everything. And this is actually super good. Okay, good, 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 good. I will take this and then I'll take brother Bobby for 15 cents. I mean, that was actually kind of a bad combo. I realize that now. But trust me, I think this was all worthwhile. Oh wait, we dropped a sack in the room. Let me go take that. And I think we're good to go. I want to save my money if possible. So we'll come in here. But uh, money equals power is pretty OP whenever it comes to soy milk or, or almond milk because any damage you get with those two is exponential pretty much not exponential but it's pretty much as linear as you can get the basic idea between that is if you're shooting at a tier rate of 18 tiers per second actually what is it's not even it's, it, it is just a linear thing i believe a linear relationship it's money times damage plus damage. <laughs> Gives you how what, what, what your damage is. Ooh. And I'm so happy we took D6. I'm so happy we took D6. Oh my gosh. Okay, Jacob's Ladder. We are getting just an insane run right now. I feel like this is decently insane. The only thing that's not insane is my health. And I got to be really careful because these... These dang fruitcake tiers are a little scary. But fruitcake has been very helpful. It's just now that we have other really OP tiers, it's not as helpful. Thank you. Okay, I do not want to take the ASOC card. And there's a chance that Justice can give you a soul heart, and I wish it did. But it did not. That's just how it goes sometimes. Oh my gosh. I am loving this combo wombo jacob's ladder uh, it it's another one <laughs> i don't know we are getting pretty much the best items we can be getting for for this run i mean for this high this high tier rate build i don't know if i should call it build me calling it build makes it sound i don't know it makes it sound like i'm really trying to get really technical with it and that's not what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to call it as it is you know i want to i want to say yes this is a build that's all i'm trying to say guys <laughs> But yeah, we can uh, we can come in here, we can fight mom, and it's gonna be Stompy Mom. The Stompy Mom doesn't stand a chance against us. We do so much damage, so much damage. It's kind of weird. It seems like we're doing more damage to Mom's foot than we are to the eyes. I feel like there might be boss armor on the eyes and not the foot. I feel like that's not true. I feel like it's the other way around. I don't know how this works. We will be taking all of this. I think we definitely want to go for Isaac if we're already taking devil deals. I'm stupid. No, we wanted to take Polaroid. Oh, no. Okay. You know what? This works out just dandily. Reverse just justice gives us chests. Um, I don't think we even need health. I do want to reroll both of these. We definitely take Guppy's soul. And then we blank rune everything else. And we get a higher luck stat, which is insane. That's actually very good. Higher luck stat means that we are going to fire our ghost tiers a lot more often. And luck stat increase with a high tier rate is awesome because 
It just, I mean, that means you're just going to fire your luck based tiers a lot more. I don't know what that monster was that was attached to that enemy. It looks, it was a mucormycosis of some sort. That was scary. And we did really come back with some health. I don't exactly know where all this health came from. Uh, it just seems like we're getting dummy amounts of health, and I really like it, you know? I got no, I, I, I have no issues. I don't got no issues. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I talk pretty, pretty formally sometimes. I, I feel like I don't, I mean, I was, I was thinking, is, I feel like a, pro, a proper time to use the word like. You know what? Thank you, game. I do want some health now. That, now that you ask but I, I feel like I, I talk pretty pretty well sometimes and in a way that's uh, th my vocabulary is kind of professional not that I, I talk professionally but my vocabulary is nice and professional then I say say something like we got I don't even know I can't even remember the example I'm supposed to be using anymore Justice. sorry guys brain is apparently always dead I really need to uh you know, get a new brain. I think that's what I should have purchased. How much does a brain go for on the black market? I guess I can get one or two more new ones. That way I have, you know, a, a weekend one and a, 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 a weekday one. Oh, I cannot not think of the word weekday. I don't know. My, I feel like one of my issues is that I can just, there's just, my some words just escape me. It's not even that I, I don't know what I want to say. I know exactly what I want to say. Exactly what I want to say. I literally just can't find the, the word. You know what? I think that we chose Polaroid was the right choice. And I'm just going to grab this key. I know we probably could reroll a bunch of times, but we don't need a meta, meta, max, min max. Jeez. Today is not a good day for my brain. Well, that did not get me as much as I wanted to because of Ghost Pepper. But you know what? That's fine. Okay, can we drop hands? Thank you. That's literally mom throwing hands. I just realized that. She's kind of rude. Oh, three damages. I, I don't think three damage is that good, actually. I don't remember what... I know three damage with soy milk is really good, but the damage multiplier on soy milk is different. Uh, you know what? We definitely will take this, because as I said, the luck stat's going to be insane. So, if we can get our luck stat to like five, so up to something like five. That's a better way to say it. Uh, you know what? We'll take missing page. It means that we do get a black heart plus our black hearts do more damage, which is really cool. Something like that. I don't remember. I don't really know what some of these items do. Sometimes I think I do. Then I realize maybe I know nothing. Ooh, oh, what? Apparently I killed the hand fast enough to where even though it grabbed me, it didn't take me away. Thank you, game. Zoom. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, we are actually one away from Guppy. If we get Guppy this run, I was so confused. I thought the enemy died and the eyes are still there. If we get Guppy this run, Guppy with high tier rate is also insane. <laughs> uh, pretty much what I'm saying is anything we get is, is really good. There's not really any bad items we could be getting right now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Guys, these are the best items possible. Pretty much any item that is a good stat upgrade is really, really good for a high tier 8 build. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? What a what an intellectual I am. This is the best. I mean, I will say, Lux, luck based items are amazing and Jacob's Ladder is amazing. Because we're firing so many tiers and every tier causes the Jacob's Ladder effect. It just means we do a lot of mass damage, which is cool. So I, I, yeah, honestly, no. These the items we have been getting are pretty much pretty much the best items we could be getting. I'm gonna stick to my to my word. But saying s other things, I don't know. So some of these items aren't the best, but the ones that are the best are luck bait, are ghost pepper and Jacob's ladder. That's all I'm saying. You know what? That was worthwhile, kind of. Not really. Actually, I regret that. Okay, can we uh, get through you? And what the heck? We could we could go to to hush if I really wanted to. Do I want to though? I feel like the answer to that question is, man, I feel like we could we could probably do hush really easily actually. So you know what? You guys want hush? I kind of want hush. 
Justice. Justice. Thank you. And yeah, I was going to go take that battery, but then I realized there's no reason for me to even try to take that battery right now. And there's another battery. We are going to get a devil deal right here, which would be really useful. But we can, uh, yeah, we can definitely reroll this devil deal a couple times if we want to. Yeah, I'm definitely going to reroll this because it is Karampus. And no matter what, you know, thank you, game. Okay, good battery. Nice. Cambion Conception, it sounds cool, but it's really not that cool. And I know that you guys are probably going to be like, oh, why did you do that? I'm just going to take this. And I'm not going to clear a room because that's going to take, it's going to take time and effort. Do we really want to put time and effort into this? No. Maybe we did. I will take Sanguine Bond just because there's no reason not to take it. it it's, it's free. And now we can go down to Hushy Boy. Rerolling at Hush would have been pretty smart. Do I do things that are smart? No. I do things that are right and just. I don't even know what that means. I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be straight up. See, that's one of the examples of me going off from my professional vocabulary. Look, we can take this battery and actually re-roll. Heck yeah. I should remember that our shop is going to be absolutely useless to us. Eh, uh, you know what? You know what? I like that a little bit. I'm scared. Oh. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. I will take... Membership card. I don't know. Is this going to make it Devil Deal? It is Devil Deal based. You know what? Damage up. Nice. Now we're very low on health, which is a little scary, to be honest. But look, we can get health. <laughs> Free health. Nice. <laughs> uh, $3 bill. Neither of those are good. We will take Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly is a really, really OP item. Uh, I didn't know what it did for the longest time until we did the uh, Tony versus Desi race with BD1P. And. It makes it so you pretty much don't take contact damage. So if you're somebody who d takes a lot of contact damage, it's really good. I feel like I might be getting like carpal tunnel or something because my left wrist really hurts. It hurts right here. Doctors of my comment section, but teenage doctors. Why does it hurt right there? Let me know. <laughs> I mean, I love, ooh. Part of me feels like that would be fun. Yes, very cool. So the reason why uh, anti-gravity is so good with this setup right now is because anti-gravity plus I have oculate, they pretty much cancel each other out and they kind of do the same thing. Um, pretty much whenever you shoot with one, one of them, it causes, so whenever you shoot with anti-gravity, it causes your tears to be held in place until you, uh, until you let go. And I've Oculate makes it so your tears go in whatever direction you're shooting. And so you can control them. And so you can see that whenever I shoot to the side, then down, all my tears go that direction. So it's a really good combo because you get the tear delay from anti-gravity, which is because it's a, it's considered kind of a bad item. You get, the, you get that tear delay, which is really cool. So I think we're pretty good to fight old Hushy Boy. I feel like this shouldn't take too long. We do have uh, Ghost Pepper, which does cancel out tears that are in front of us, I'm pretty sure. So I can pretty much just stand still and be fine. And the biggest concern right now, yeah, 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 look at this. If I stand still right here, I do need to dodge a little bit. But for the most part, we just destroy. There's a black heart right there, but let's get it. Oh, come on, I wanted a black heart. We'll get it at the end of the, the floor. Another thing that's pretty cool is I don't know why it does what it does, but whenever you use anti-gravity plus I have the oculate, it causes your tears to like form this weird halo around you. Kind of like immaculate heart. But really tight and weird. I don't know. It, it's it's a weird it's a weird little thing that happens. You guys wanna see something horrendous? I'll show you guys something horrendous. Oh, Suicide King. Let's not use that. What if I lost the Eden Street because I used Suicide King? That'd be kind of a great way to lose it, honestly. Going out on my own, <laughs> on my own terms. <laughs> and by my own terms, I mean stupidity. Oh, guys, it's a tainted, <laughs> tint, it's a tinted hush. That'd be kind of cool if there was tinted enemies. That little 
crosses on them, and pretty much whenever you kill them, you each got a soul heart. But it would just be fun because, you know, they would have a little X on them. I'll probably just use the full card right now. Yeah, this is going to be an easy win for the fight, but I could use the full card. <laughs> you know what? Let's try to get uh, let's try to get Suicide King out of our reserves. Ready? And it might be like, why did you just use Ace of Diamonds to get rid of Suicide King? I didn't want it anywhere near me. You got a problem with that? You better not. Then we can head out. Remember to show the card? Plus, uh... Plus Pound of Flesh, which is the Devil Deal that makes it so our shops turn into Devil Deal prices and our Devil Deals turn into shop prices, uh, is, is actually really good with Membership Card because of how it kind of, it, it, it combines in a cool way. Because what what happens is, is Membership Card has random prices for the items, and so they can range just through, they can be any, any number. They can, there's a lot of different numbers that they can be. And if you take the Devil Deal, you can take a 60 cent item for one red heart or three soul hearts. So it makes it so it's a constant price. That's a little scary. Okay, we have a lot of money. Which way do I want to go? I think I want to go this way, actually. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. There are going to be ghosts in some of these pots. We don't have to worry about that. Can we get Guppy, please? Right here? Last little, you know, last little place. Come on. You know you want to give me... We have not gotten Guppy in forever. Guppy is... It, I mean, Guppy should be hard to get. I, I I think it's a good thing that's hard to get. But at the same time, I miss it. Sometimes I just want to get Guppy. You know? Can a boy not get his get his cat? And by a boy, I mean Isaac? Not me. I, I, I don't... Guppy's not my cat. I guess that's technically Ed's cat. I guess Ed should be the, the sole getter of... Getter of Guppy. Gitter of Guppy. I like that. Weird. Okay, we are losing some health, but we should be fine. The main re reason we lose health is just because of the chaos that it happens when we get into a room. Ooh, stapler's awesome. I could have re-rolled that for something, but no. We want this damage. Pretty much in the Isaac fight, all you have to do is wait for him to shoot tears, go up a little bit, wait for him to shoot tears, go down a little bit, and you just dodge everything. Okay, sweet. Nice. Okay, and I'm not going to go Delirium. I, you know what? Let's go to Delirium right now. I was going to say I wasn't going to go to Delirium. But I feel confident. The only reason you ever want to take the Delirium portal prior to Hush or... Or pretty much prior to Mega Stand is because of if you're really trying to push for the Mega, the Delirium achievement or completion mark, me going there right now is kind of stupid because I actually miss out on a bunch of items that I would have gotten for freebies. But for time's sake, this is actually a lot faster. And it's not like we need more items. I think we're pretty good. It is a little scary though because we are a little low on health. Oh no, we are a lot low on health actually. Yeah, actually I don't know. I think we have about five and a half hearts of health, probably. And if we want to, we can use the uh, the full card to get out. What the heck? That was a lot of poop. We can use the full card to get out of the boss fight. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever seen the boss fights be so concentrated before. That's insane. That's a lot of boss fights. Okay, never mind. We are fine on health. For some reason, there's random tier effects that will just rage through the entire room and give you a dumb amount of black hearts. I forgot what item gives you that. It, it's probably a Serpent's Kiss tier, I'm guessing. But I think what happens with Ser Serpent's Kiss is as soon as you shoot the Serpent's Kiss tier, this is a, this is an assumption. This is not ac an actual factual thing. But I feel I think it makes it so all of your tiers have the Serpent's Kiss uh, black heart effect, where there's a chance that an enemy you kill has the black heart. 12 lives is kind of sick. We will take butt bombs. No reason not to take butt bombs. Oh my gosh. We absolutely destroy, guys. Cerebral you. You know, health is always good. Always good. And we do indeed have an extra life. Ooh, strength card is super good. Yeah, I'm taking the strength card. So strength card makes it so all the enemies have half their health. I don't know if it works on Delirium. But we can test it out. The thing, you won't see that they have half their health. It's just their max health is half. 
so it still looks like they have all their health. Kind of confusing. Yeah, let's get you out of here. Oh, you, 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 you stood the test of time for a second. You sly dog. You know what? Rockets in a jar could be fun. We are getting lucky with not getting delirium right now. I feel like it would almost make sense that no matter what you did, delirium would be the last boss fight. I feel like that would just kind of be cool. Make it so you have to fight through the entire floor. Because, I mean, if you can't beat all the, the regular bosses in the room, then you probably want to have beat delirium. I mean, unless we're talking about tainted, tainted loss, then you probably don't want to be able to go into any of those other boss fights. So, you know what? I take that back. I think it's a good item. So, actually, if you're going for delirium, teleporters are a really good item for you if you're playing lost or tainted lost. Ooh, I think I know exactly which one of these is delirium. I just have to hike all the way over there. Man, it's it's kind of weird. There's It's kind of weird how different games treat the aspect of fast travel. And the reason I'm saying this is because of Gungeon. And that's the main reason I was saying that. But the reason I use the word fast travel is because of New World. The new game I've been playing. <laughs> but in in Gungeon, you can fast travel to like any pretty much any most rooms and so you can just get through the run faster that's an interesting concept because i mean it doesn't make you any more op you can only fast travel between like between rooms at the end of the or once you beat a, a, the room you're in or something like that i don't know and look at that that is delirium have his health and so it pretty much it what it, what's cool about it is it makes it so oh that's i was supposed to say that a couple episodes ago if you half the enemy's health it's actually really op because if you half their health and then give yourself a damage up, you actually are doing a lot more damage than if you were just to use a, a two times damage. Because it, it's weird like that. It's just how it works. That was fast. That was a good delirium kill. And by good, I mean easy. So we can take this and we can go. That was a good run. Run 93 was really good. And I'm trying to think, what day is 100 going to be? If I were to upload every day from right now. So today's 93. So uh, Sunday 94. Monday 95. Tuesday 96. Wednesday 97. Thursday 98. Oh, so it would be Saturday. So what I'm thinking is maybe for the 100th in streak, I do it live. Would you guys like to see a live Eden streak? If you guys would like to see a live Eden streak, uh, then I will definitely announce that stream and give you guys some more updates and make a community post about it. But we can make it to a little bit of a celebration. We can do some stuff, make it cool. Um, maybe maybe put some challenges in there. Make it a little harder. Not harder for me, but more fun for everybody to watch. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that right there was the run. That's 93 wins in a row as Eden. As you see... The stupid Eden token glitch is ridiculous. And I don't want people to think that I'm saying that putting this Eden streak token out because I don't want them to be like, oh, I see a discrepancy, which means he probably cheated. I did not cheat. There's just this weird thing where Eden tokens go down, they double consume. And so even though you gain one back by beating mom's heart, you still lose one. So it's kind of weird. Anyways, if you guys liked that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord if you haven't. As I talked about during this episode, it's kind of not the most active place but i want to i want to refurbish it i want to make it a cool awesome area and i want to revamp it it was bustling at one point and i just didn't do what i needed to to make it good so i'm gonna work on that and that's gonna be the end of the video so as always guys it's been preets peace out bye